prepare yourself for a deep dive into the world of investing and renewable energy uh, as he explores the fascinating potential brought about by climate change and the decarbonization of our energy sources with a focus on Tesla, join visionary investor and entrepreneur Shamath Polyopedia. Uh, in his wager on the firm for Thomas, Shamath explains why he thinks it has the ability to upend the utility industry, strong financial results, industry leadership, investor confidence, and limitless supplier shares are all the components that Tesla possesses to upend the stock market as it exists today. According to Ejima, the combination of these factors will result in an incredible price per share for Tesla that no other tech stock in history would ever be able to match. Learn the four essential elements that Chamath takes into account while assessing a business, including political advantageous suggestions, anyone interested in investing in Tesla or the future of energy should watch this video, watch the script from Trimath Polyhypedia, but be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons first. If I'm being really honest, I think that climate change offers our generation's best chance for economic growth. Chima said in a recent interview when asked where he was concentrating his efforts, mitigation of climate change by decarbonizing renewable energy sources, a person may easily comprehend how much energy they have produced, its economic value, and how they have contributed to the grid when they have uh, residential solar, residential storage, and software. It is sometimes the most exciting thing when you don't have to create speakers and inverters. I've been talking openly about this belief around Tesla for a time now. This is due to the possibility of utilities and businesses being disrupted, right? Chamath for several reasons. Tesla has the ability to upend utility companies. The best energy storage, one of the biggest battery manufacturers in the world, Tesla has created a line of energy storage devices that enable consumers, companies, and utilities to store electricity produced by detachable sources. Utilities can lessen the reliance on conventional power plants and even out the oscillations in the generation of renewable energy. Electric automobiles ranked second leading manufacturer of electric vehicles. Tesla may see a move away from gasoline powered vehicles as the market for EVs expands, would lower the need for oil, and thus, lower the need for fossil fuel-based electricity. Utilities would have to make investments in new infrastructure to enable EV charging and three solar power systems in order to adjust to the change in demand. By encouraging the usage of solar electricity, Tesla purchased Solarcity in 2016, making it one of the biggest residential solar installers in the US. Tesla may benefit from a decrease in the demand for electricity from utilities, which would force the latter to adjust to a new market in which consumers produce and utilize their own energy instead of depending entirely on the grid. Energy Administration Tesla is working on a virtual power plant that would combine energy storage devices to form a decentralized power grid. Tesla has developed software that lets users control their energy usage and storage. Customers might be able to resell their extra electricity to utilities in this way, opening up a new source of income for both companies and households. All told, Tesla's goods and services have the power to upend the conventional utility paradigm by encouraging the use of renewable energy, lowering the need for fossil fuels, and opening up new sources of income for users. Chemeth, Pi is right on this one. Even if the shift happens gradually, climate change presents a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for infrastructural and economic development, and Tesla is the best-positioned corporation in the world to seize it. To elaborate, on what he looks for when investing in a company. Chamath said that what the weight is at any given time is crucial because a product could have Zippo product market fit on day two or great product market fit on day 200. He continued by saying that businesses like that fascinate him, which is why he fell in love with Amazon so quickly after it launched and why he sold all of his Facebook stock in 2014. When everyone thought I was an idiot because I had presented a case for Amazon's $3 trillion market cap in front of five, zero people at the Lincoln Center for our zone and had been ridiculed for doing so. The integrity and openness of the management group is the second aspect. Once more, this is just the weight. It can be large, low, or somewhere in between. It can also change, but it always exists regardless of the firm's size, 200 million euros or two days. The third is whether the business is working on something that has higher prospects and is not well represented by the past, or what Chamath refers to as headwinds or tailwinds. The headwinds are favorable for a number of reasons. Tesla. Uh, obviously, 
One is the switch to electric cars. Numerous nations in areas like California and Europe have established goals to gradually replace gasoline-powered cars with electric ones. Tesla's strength as a top manufacturer of EVs is this shift. Naturally, there is a growing market for renewable energy. Concerns about air pollution and climate change are driving a global move towards renewable energy, which is expanding the market for solar and energy storage devices. Tesla is well positioned to profit from this trend because to its acquisition of SolarCity and its development of energy storage solutions. Additionally, Tesla has a very well-known brand because of its associations with sustainability in a nation. This helps the business draw in clients and investors who are looking for cutting edge products from environmentally conscious businesses. Technological developments in batteries also have a significant role. Rapid advancements in battery technology could lower the cost of EVs and increase its appeal to a larger group of users. Uh, of course, the government supports Tesla and many governments around the world are offering incentives for the adoption of EVs and renewable energy, which could benefit Tesla. For instance, the federal government of the United States has proposed a plan to heavily invest in EV infrastructures and incentivize EV purchases. Tesla is one of the leading companies in battery technology, which gives it an advantage over competitors. Overall, these challenges are fueling demand for Tesla's goods and services, which is helping the company position itself for long-term growth, as Chamath has repeatedly noted. The fourth factor Kamath considers when making an investment is political infanticide, how dysfunctional business is. You can determine this by visiting websites like Glassdoor and listening to the CEO's political correctness during earnings calls or in more direct situations by considering the possibility that burning through trillions of dollars worth of power infrastructure will result in numerous utility bankruptcies, which would put the industry's debt at hundreds of billions of dollars and have a significant impact on the economy. As a result, Chamath is making significant investments in businesses that could affect the utility industry. Uh, I think we've started to pay attention to Tesla, I must said. And, you know, we bought these convertible bonds and thought they were great risk adjusted because you know you weren't sure whether the shorts would win and drive the company to ground. Convertible bonds from Tesla are a particular kind of hybrid instrument that combines aspects of stocks and bonds. These bonds are issued by a Tesla and for a specific price known as the conversion price, they can be exchanged for a fixed number of tests, similar to common shares. The bondholders of the convertible bonds get irregular interest payments at the predetermined rate until the bonds mature, at which point Tesla will refund the principal to them. If the bond price hits the conversion price, bondholders can use the conversion option to convert their bonds into Tesla shares, potentially earning a profit if the stock price rises. Over the years, Tesla has released multiple rounds of convertible bonds with different terms and interest rates. The most significant one, which Chamath is most likely referring to here, happened in March 2021 when Tesla released $1.5 billion in convertible senior notes that were due in 2025 and had an interest rate of 0.25% per year with a conversion price equal to 1371 pre-split shares. Um, changeable bonds may be attractive to investors who want to reduce their downside risk, but also believe that the issuing company's stock price will rise over time. However, as Chamath painfully discovered, convertible bonds also have lower potential returns than investing directly in this stock. And he probably lost millions of dollars doing so. Going back to the interview, Chamath stated that, to put it another way, if you're going to invest in Elon Musk's companies, are you betting on the jockey in this case, or are you betting on the business model that he developed for the company that we call Tesla? This is a great question because... Ultimately, when you're making thorough and methodical investments in technology companies, the company's business, let's quickly review. According to Shamath Polypedia, this generation's biggest economic potential is related to climate change. Uh, his main area of interest is the decarbonization of renewable energy sources, particularly solar power for homes paired with storage and software companies that have the potential to disrupt utilities like Tesla, intrigue uh, when assessing a company's product. He takes four aspects into account. Honesty and openness hit a wins, her tailwinds and political infanticide. So what's the bottom line? A man who knows what he's talking about and isn't scared to call it like he sees it with a great eye for commercial opportunity and a passion for renewable energy. It's a little wonder he's got his side set on Tesla hitting 
$30,000 a share with all the aspects he's evaluated, including product fit management, transparency, headwinds and tailwinds, and political infanticide. It's evident that this is a future forward investment opportunity you won't want to miss as much as it was. We have to stop this video, but make sure to press that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.